Hey everybody, Garrett here, and these are reviews from Mob.org. Today we have a review of Need for Speed Most Wanted. And, before you say that your grandfather used to make reviews for the game when he was a kid, let me clarify, our patient was made for Android platforms, so let's ride. We're gonna ride in a literal sense. When you run the game for the first time, you immediately get a tutorial race. It's obligatory, you can't skip it. It seems that the dudes from Electronic Arts think that no one has ever played the race over a telephone or a PC. However, they may be right taking into consideration the fact that even children have smartphones these days. But, as for me, I wanted to rake over the menu somewhat quicker, and the tutorial made me slightly mad. The game begins with the menu, doesn't it? And here's the menu. Here we have a traditional GPS card which you can swipe back and forth while looking for tracks and missions. I think everything is clear here, and fans of the Need for Speed series are well acquainted with maps of this kind, and I don't need to chew over it for too long. So let's move on. There is a Garage tab. You can buy a new car here, color it, and take a good look at it. Yet, I know from personal experience that there are other interesting things not connected to the cars that can be done in a garage. But, <laughs> well, okay, moving on. The Pilot tab. Actually, we can see a player's profile, statistics, the cars bought, results, in short, all sorts of personal information. Then we have a Rating tab. Here we can see, yep. It is your rating among opponents. Fairly speaking, I don't understand why they didn't unite this tab with the previous one. Apparently, they think that the more tabs the menu has, the cooler it is. Then we have a shop button, when we can change real money to in-game currency and also buy a bunch of useless goodies, which will make your car win in any case. Settings is the last tab. I can only say there you can adjust your controls for touch or accelerometer. Even the sensitivity can be adjusted. Does it suit you? Let's have a ride and check. Poke your fingers into the map, choose a mission, and welcome to the track. At the beginning of every race, we can see a kind of short trailer where the rushing car swings a camera with the flow of swishing air and street race effectiveness. And after that, they let us do a spot of driving, and it's pretty comfortable. The controls are quite friendly and they're well adjusted. In other words, if I run into something, it happens only because of my clumsiness, not because of the game. There are also two things that make the game a little bit more interesting. There are cops and damages. It would be boring without them. What would we do if we had no policemen and no brakes on the track? By the way, about braking stuff. Models of car wrecks look rather nice. Bumpers fallen off, cracks and broken glass, and they are not simply models. The damage is actually important here. If your car breaks down, you have a really good chance of not finishing the race. It's pretty difficult, but I did mention my clumsiness. I need to say a couple of words about the graphics, but I think that the video on the screen has just made it for me. The graphics are good, everything is bright and colorful, and the textures seem to be pretty good too. Well, what else should I mention? The plot. The game has one, most likely. I don't know, I didn't notice. And who cares about the plot of Need for Speed? Well, we drive in order to drive, and it is desirable to drive as fast as possible. That's the point. The music though? It disappointed me. Setting the music against that from previous editions for PC, we didn't have music, but we had crap. On one hand, it's understandable. The game was made for kids to play in the classroom with their hands under the desk. In this position, the music is not really something to listen to. But on the other hand, Electronic Arts isn't a poor company and should have tried not to leave any weak points in the game. So, I had to turn on my own playlist as background music, because I don't want to listen to the miserable thing. But, tastes differ and someone might like it. The game is optimized quite well, but still, they could have done it much better. It sometimes lags on my device, but in general, it doesn't interfere with gameplay, and you can put a pin on that. To sum up, the game's not bad. If you like races, don't hesitate and buy the game. It costs five bucks, and it's worth each one of them. Or, you can download it from our site, the link's down below, in the description. That's it for today. If you liked it, like it. Subscribe for the channel, and join our group. This was Garrett and Mob.org. See you soon.